G'day Smoke and Dagger fans, we've got a real treat for you today. Today we're paying tribute to our favorite burger. Local burger shop does something they call the Calzone Burger. So we're gonna be doing our version of this today and uh, hopefully we do it justice. Cause it's mint. All right folks, let's build this burger. First of all, you're gonna need some burger mints. We've got some pre-made but feel free to mince your own up. Once you've got that, grab yourself a ring, much like this, for shaping the mince, slap your meat in. The harder, the better. Harder. Harder. We want to keep this first layer approximately a centimetre. So you can see here, I've taken some meat out and pressed that in. Once we've got that shape, it's time to add some feeling. All right, next step. Up on your salami. Then crumple some feta. Crumple or, or crumble? And then crumble some feta. Then we're going to chuck in some red peppers. You'll also find that they feature in the original sauce. Finally, because you can never have too much cheese, just chuck some more cheese on top. They're just using a simple cheddar today, but use any cheese of choice. Once you've got that ready, grab some more meat, and then we're just going to form that over the top. Obviously, it doesn't look as good as the pros, but for a first time, that'll do. All right, folks, now we have this formed. It's time to chuck it on the Weber Go. So we're going to be doing this hot and fast, get a nice sear on the outside before we put the burger together. Because this is barbecue, we're going to chuck on a barbecue rub. We're going to put on a little bit of hardcore kind of all red. So let's get that on there. Lovely. Just gonna move these off the cooler side now so they can finish cooking inside. Oh yeah, let's let these bad boys rest for a minute. We've grilled our burger patties. Now it comes for the art piece. We're gonna put these together. Grab your bun. Chopper in half. First layer of sauce. We're gonna use a spicy peri peri mayo. This is an authentic, but it's what we got laying around. Sounds like me on the toilet this morning. Then we're gonna add our salad layer. Start with some lettuce. Then some tomato. And then finally, we're gonna add some onion. Basically feels like I'm eating health food at this point. Next up, we're gonna add the patty. Gently place that on top. Actually caress it. Look at that. We're gonna add our second layer of sauce. So hit it with that spicy peri peri mayo again. And then we're gonna use some smoky chipotle. Traditionally, they would have used an avjar sauce, um, which is made out of peppers. Sorry if the pronunciation is really bad there. We didn't have that available, so we're just gonna use some of this instead. Once you got all that on, Time to put the top on. Look at that, lovely. Oh my God, look at that. That may be the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Looks are important, but not as important as taste. Let's check this burger's personality. That's bloody good. Not as good as the original. So shout out to Chich, but not far off. Let's see what other people think. I'm a sucker for a calzone from Chich. So I'm very excited about this burger. Let's see how Tom did. It's all about layers. Something about that beef, salami cheese, 
it just works. I'd love to see some signature sauce sort of coming alongside of this, but otherwise, I mean, this is good eating. Damn, ain't nothing wrong with that. Well, this is a ripper burger today. Real treat. I will say it wasn't quite as good as the original from Chitch, so family recipes, secret sauces, they go a long way. If we were to try and take this to the next level, I think making our own buns would be key. And also chasing that authentic Avjar sauce, red pepper flavor would absolutely make a huge difference. But if you're feeling like doing this and you're feeling like being lazy, why not add a little bit of sriracha? That might be the go. So until next time, happy barbecuing.